Ready to feel some serious fear? Here are the scariest horror games to play right now on PC. Just remember, we did warn you. There's no shortage of brilliant horror games to play on PC. This year alone, we've got another Until Dawn style experience, The Quarry from Supermassive Games. But while these might be a little creepy at points, you're looking for something truly scary. Something that's going to make you want to take a lone headphone cup off just to ease the tension a little. At Logitech G, we've got you covered. Subscribe to the channel and let's shakily shine a torch on the scariest horror games you can play right now on PC. Let's kick things off with a spot of ghost hunting. How wrong could it go, eh? Well, if phasmophobia is to be believed, very wrong. Much faster than you can think. The art of this first-person indie is in its relatability and absolute simplicity. All we need to do is grab some online friends, pick up ghost hunting gear from the safety of our trusty truck, and head into all manner of spook-filled abodes to identify the type of spectres inside. Entering these haunted houses feels almost calm at first as you place cameras and other tech, but quickly even making jokes can't erase the tension as the ghosts gradually make themselves known. Whether that's splitting up your ghost-busting crew to pick you off one at a time, or just violently expressing their displeasure in ink in a ghostwriting book, these hauntings are exercises in utter terror. Oh, and you can even experience it all in VR. You just might be on your own for that one. Let's face it, using night vision in found footage horror films now seems to be just as essential as finding an excuse to cut smartphone signal. But anyone who remembers their first time entering Mount Massive Asylum in Outlast won't argue with just how effective that green hue can be. As modern survival horror games go, Red Barrel's journey into hell is a true nightmare as we are handed a camera and a limited supply of AA batteries. And this is all before heading in via a window that's clearly been used as a desperate exit relatively recently. This abandoned asylum is packed with relatively standard horror imagery, but it's what Outlast does with it that's the difference between a slight tingle of fear and an all-out assault on your central nervous system. The linearity of the whole experience means you are at the mercy of Red Barrel's masochistic ghost train, and when things do slow down, it's probably because you're hiding under a bed. If you want something with a little less terrifying pursuits, but still a deftly directed ghost train, layers of fear should tick all of your creepy boxes. Here we enter a mansion of creative madness as a crazed painter attempts to finish his masterpiece. The only problem is that the house and his memories have other ideas. The true terror here comes from the sheer unpredictability of what's coming next. Bloober Team constantly switch the environments around you, making it feel like nightmare logic is at play. Corridors shrink, rooms expand, and all the while, the watchful eyes of ominous paintings eyeball your every move. It's relatively short, in fact, you could definitely go through it in one sitting, but that means there's no pressure to string things out, so it's pretty relentless. The end is a little bit too surreal, but the journey to get there is an exquisite scarefest. If you want something that's potentially a little more forgiving than the original experience, you might want to try the more recent Amnesia Rebirth, but for the purest horror, you can't miss Amnesia Dark Descent. It might be 12 years old now, but waking up as poor Daniel is like stepping into a nightmare as you explore an abandoned castle. Well, it's potentially not as abandoned as you might hope. The Dark Descent was the first game to make the most of a sanity meter that's entirely affected by light. Keep matches aflame and lamps lit and you'll stave off the horrors of the dark, but let them burn out and it's not pretty. Though it doesn't even matter, because the developers have since admitted that there's no way to actually avoid the sanity meter dropping. Every step here is fraught with an almost physical sense of foreboding. You go in. 
We've been already. We'll just wait right here. Games love to use the word spiritual successor, and our next title definitely puts the spirit into the phrase as it pays homage to the now mythical PT. Visage is a creepy love letter to the playable teaser for the sadly canned Silent Hills game from Hideo Kojima and director Guelmo del Toro. Just like PT, the blue-hued and horribly realistic environment here is an everyday home where unimaginable things are happening. Cue long corridors you really don't want to walk down, and twisted yet still human shapes looming out of the darkness. The house itself is, of course, cursed, otherwise this would be in the wrong list, and the memories of previous inhabitants play out brutally as you explore. Just like Amnesia, there's a sanity system at work here, where you'll want to stay in the light to stay reasonably safe, but, of course, Visage wants to send you into the abyss. There's no doubt that despite some less than spectacular sequels and the odd bouts with a predator or two, the Xenomorph is still one of cinema's most definitively terrifying monsters. Thankfully, where other movie tie-ins have failed, Alien Isolation cranks the fearometer to breaking point with its exquisite game of hide and squeak. The latter being the noise we can't help making when we've managed to hide from the drooling nightmare monster and catch a glimpse of it stalking just a little too close. It's of course much more than just a death dodging simulator, but Alien Isolation is at its most terrifying when it's at its simplest. Clever AI work from Creative Assembly means the Xenomorph knows your general vicinity, so you'll always get a unique heart in mouth experience. Nothing compares to the true terror of watching that tracker blip come ever closer. And finally, you knew this series would be lurking somewhere, we'll conclude the horror with Resident Evil 7. As scary as House Ben Viento was in last year's Resident Evil Village, there's nothing like entering the Baker Mansion for the very first time. The opening hours of Ethan Winters' journey are like playing through a nerve-jangling horror movie. Capcom was clearly influenced by a stack of scary horror flicks, artfully ramping up the terror notch by notch like an interactive Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Everyone is relying on me. Everyone! Every cat and mouse flavoured step brings more terror as you desperately sneak around the dilapidated home, solving traditional Resident Evil puzzles at the same time as trying to avoid the terrifying family. Constant unpredictability means you never feel like you can relax, and the horror is utterly relentless. We almost understand now why Capcom said they would dial back the scares for Village given the number of people who clearly noped out of Resident Evil 7 after the first hour. <laughs> You're gonna have to come through me. You hear? Now oh, come on, Ethan. What do you say? So, that's some of the scariest games you can play on PC. Let us know your favourite terrifying experiences in the comments below, drop us a like if you enjoyed the horror, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for even more nightmare fuel. Oh, and if you're scared you'll miss any new videos, hit that notification bell and we'll sneak into your inbox to keep you updated. Sweet dreams!